seven proofs that you are an eternal being. Number one. You are aware of your existence, yet logically nothing should exist. This is a truth. If you think about it logically, how can you have something that never had a beginning and will never have an end? How could something come into existence from nothing? It's not logical. Yet, you are. You know you exist. Number two, you are ultimately driven by the core of your being, not physical or spiritual, but governs both. And here we can see the picture of the full 11 dimensional universe. The three is the physical existence. The six is the spiritual existence. For example, when you dream. And nine is the dominant existence. This is the emotional which governs all. This is what drives you. This is when you want something. This is where it comes from. The more you look into it, the more you will notice that this governs everything that you do. Number three. The mind is ever sensing the core with each intellectual conclusion getting either a yes or a no, a good feeling or a bad feeling. So as a lot of people think they are their mind and that is what they are, they have just distanced themselves from their core. So as children we are totally aware of our core and we're quite happy with it because it guides you with either this good feeling or a bad feeling. But throughout through life we get drawn away from it, we kind of get locked into the mind. But if you actually notice where your thoughts are coming from, thinking, why did that thought pop into my head? It's coming from the core. But then you can think about something and you get a reaction from your core. So this is truth. Number four, you are continually experiencing. No gaps, not ever. Now a lot of people will think that they have a gap when they go to sleep. But you don't. You just go to a deeper place. You wake up in the morning, sometimes you think about the dream you were having. Often you don't have time. The alarm's going off, you've got to get up. Straight away thinking about the physical reality will disconnect you from the spiritual reality and you'll think that you had a gap, but there aren't. And we're getting more and more evidence that when people die, they are continuing just as though it's a dream, although they can't come back into the body. But there's absolutely no evidence that we have any gaps ever. So, another truth. Number five. Your core is your only possession and has only become aware in the last several thousand years maximum, yet may have existed for more than a billion years. You are in your creator. So just to go over that 
again. Your core is your only possession. It's your only true possession. The only thing that you truly can say is yours, is you. And has only become aware in the last several thousand years maximum. Well, that could be debatable. But let's just say we're reaching a stage in our growth where we're able to come into a physical being in God's universe and have an experience and start to become aware of what we truly are. Because when we were created by our mother and father creator, who were created by their mother and father creator, and so on, until we get to a point where we can't possibly think about it. We, when we were created, we, were, we couldn't just straight away understand what we were. It took a long time. God has been nurturing us, giving us experiences, although we weren't fully aware of what we were doing. So we may have existed for more than a billion years. I actually believe we have existed for about four billion years. We are in our creator when we are in this universe. And yes, we do exist within our creator and will be within our creator forever. But our creator is growing and we are growing. So that's another truth. Number six, love is the only substance. Your core grows with love. Now perhaps I should put in there the only permanent substance because something which isn't loving can exist temporarily but if it's not loving it will certainly be temporary. The only permanent things are loving. Love is the only substance we should care about. And that's how we grow. With love. That's another truth. Finally, number seven. True satisfaction will only ever be attained by connecting with your creator, knowing your core and thereby. So this, I put an arrow there because I could read it. True satisfaction will only ever be attained by knowing your core and thereby connecting with your creator. But you could also say attained by connecting with your creator and thereby knowing your core. Kind of one leads to the other catch-22 sort of situation. But we don't need to worry because... It's our creator who designed this growth for us that we, we will find truth in the end no matter what. And yes, we've got so much more to learn. But this is a truth. If you, we're all looking for this true satisfaction. We get born, we're fine, we're happy. But we get dragged away from our creator by society and what it thinks needs to be done and then we spend the rest of our life looking for a way to find this true satisfaction we'll do all sorts of crazy things and we think we found it but we find out it's temporary and you can do all sorts of things and it wears off there is only one true way to find satisfaction and that is connecting with your creator and thereby knowing your core or know your core and thereby connect with your creator that's another truth so there it is proof if you wanted it that you are an eternal being you are definitely more than just this physical being you have 
you will continue to exist afterwards and if you start to understand what you are in this life you will live your life differently you will live your life as an eternal being make decisions that an eternal being would make and it will change things for the better thank you